because it's also nice to split the fish. So I need one kilo of this. this is the fish I put it here these are headless ones like this headless frozen sardines it's 300 no 500 grams per package and what we're gonna do is soak it in salt water just have to put four teaspoon of salt and then you just have to stir it like that this is one kilo already let it soak for 30 minutes and that's it after it you drain and then you dry hang it air dry sun dry it's fine and this one is perfect because they are thick there's another I call that um, another species another kind of this fish that is a thin one these are thick ones see these are thicker ones look these thick ones that's why it's a bit expensive 500 grams is 340 marka or km and then that one that skinny one and the thin one is only 170 per 500 grams and it has head it's not headless so that's it you soak it and 30 minutes and, dra and drain and hang it and dry it outside all right so i have this one i have this improvised drying thingy and i put two hangers so that i can hang it in a I call the horizontal beams or horizontal any any straight thing that I can hook it to that one and then I have this mesh to cover it up bottom and then top so that the fly will not be there because it attracts the fly so much so I have this one and you can also do the how you call this one you split the the fish like this one you split the fish like this one that i am doing i have this um sardines also i think this is only 250 grams but i split it up because it's also nice to split the fish so you do it like this so i did it last time so i did not manage to film it all the way and this is how i do it anyway so i'm just waiting for another 20 minutes and after that i'm gonna bring it outside already drained and then we're gonna put it on this one i still have a few days that are sunny days so it's good it takes around three to five days if it's so sunny around 27 degrees to 30 degrees celsius it will only take two to three days but it's like this like and then i just leave it outside during night time to hang it right to air dry but during night time already it's getting cold so it doesn't dry during those times so it will take around five days to dry during this uh, time of the year when the weather turns to 10 degrees celsius during night time all right i have my fish drained and i put it here so that i can put it on that side okay
have to cover the fish so that the fly will not swim on it. <laughs> lick it. <laughs> they will lick it on it. They are the black flies, by the way, who loves this thing. So we have to cover it nicely. That's it. And then we will just hang it to let it dry. To ito. Stinky fish, as my husband. Stinky fish, as my husband would say. <laughs> Look, look at how the bees are eating it. Ah. And now it's almost done. The bees are eating my and it's almost done. One piece is almost done by the bees. I'm going to flip my bulad, my tuyo. I have to flip it because it's been drying on its side but I think there's no need to flip it because see it's also dry in the back they're so light compared to when they were last time but there are really like huge ones like thick ones this one are thick and this one are not and they're from one kilo so I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna weigh this after how much but I made one kilo of this. That's that's the fish eaten by the bees. This one. It almost devour everything. And we were laughing like really the bees are into dried fish. Look, it's almost done. Yeah, and I killed one of them accidentally. The bee it's here on <laughs> Uh, um, today is the fifth day. I'm just gonna flip one more time my dried fish so that tomorrow I'm gonna harvest them. So, this smells so good already, which other people don't like the smell. But for us who is used to this fish, it already smells so good the house is a mess because my husband is building another room for himself man cave so that's why <laughs> it's a mess in the veranda straighten up looks good hi guys can you see me i'm already gonna be <laughs> i'm gonna collect now my dried fish because it's already done five days wow. yeah. and it's so dry and i'm gonna weigh this while my husband is destroying the wall <laughs> No, I think it's inside in the water container. Ayan, kinilo ko ito. 357 grams. From 1 kilo, ganyan na lang. Ayan, 357. I am cooking here outside because it's very stinky and I don't know about the neighbors if they will complain or not <laughs> I will be cooking here my stinky fish outside in our veranda because sa loob ng bahay baka kakatayin ako ni Azawa <laughs> ito yung ginawa kong stinky fish or yung dried fish na gawa ko Ayan. and let's cook it let's see Maka kakatayin ako ni asawa pag doon ako magluto sa loob ng bahay. 
Ayan. I'll just cook a few and I will just put the rest in the fridge. Para isang lutuan na lang. Ayan. Baka yung neighbor ang magreklamo. Okay lang. <laughs> and the neighbor will complain what is that that she's cooking. Alright. That's a lot. That's a lot of that. And we do not complain. What are you cooking there? It's so stinky. But it's our specialty. No one can blame me for this. guys it's done it's here i'm waiting for husband it's gloomy here uh it's uh it's gonna rain soon so anyway i'm gonna wait for husband maybe he will give his honest opinions about this but i know he doesn't like this so anyways uh, i wanna tell a bit something about this uh, dried fish and so i'm gonna talk in english so it's easy for my boston subscribers to understand and it's easy for me to translated in bosnian language also so anyway so philippines uh in the philippines we really have lots of fish and sometimes there are fish on season and when it's like that we love to preserve it and one way of doing that is by drying it you know it's a tropical place so we have lots of sun uh, we have lots of sun there in the philippines so we just dry them up and this is how i do it salt water and others are just putting salt no water so it depends how you do it so anyway that's how we do we love to preserve our fish same here in bosnia you love to preserve your meat so that's uh how we do it so any kind of fish can be make made into a so uh dried fish so there are so many kinds so i have this one as you can see this one i have this other fish that is being butterfly both of these are being butterfly if you butterfly the fish it's so e uh, it's very easy for them to dry compared to the whole fish so this one is a butterfly fish also like that and then we have a different one this is the russian dried fish given to me from the germany remember that unboxing so this one doesn't smell at all like no smell the russians eat this like this one paired with a beer i think it's called vodla or something like that but they eat it like this raw but for us we eat it we cook it so and this one is the chinese shrimp that's the chinese shrimp this one also is a tiny shrimp and then we have this one the one that i made yeah all right so this fish when you cook it's stinky absolutely stinky no doubt about it but you would say oh well, she's eating like this and for those who are not fan of this in the asia i think most of us in asia have a uh, dried fish and we love it with our food i mean i can eat this with rice only and, and then with vegetables and then we can put it also in our cooked vegetables you know instead of protein instead of meat we put dried feet dried uh dried fish so this is very stinky but you know what it's an acquired taste so if you started eating it you 
I don't know, you you will never smell the stinkiness of the fish. I, I cannot tell that it's stinky. What I'm what I can tell is it's tasty. So it's like that. Same as yours, Bosnian. You have sal kisela kupus, the sour cabbage. At first, I'm having a hard time getting used to that uh, the smell and the flavor of that sour cabbage of yours, the kisela kupus. It's really hard for me to and I put it in my mouth. Uh, I help mom make sarma. The the smell of that uh, kisela kupas is still on my nails, on my fingers. Even though I wash it already, keep washing it, still it, it's still in it. So it's the same as this one. So you love it, and I I'm <laughs> I'm not into it. I'm I'm. It takes time. I mean, it took me around two years to get used to the kisela kupas but now i'm loving it but it's the same as this one it's stinky also it's so stinky like my goodness it's like uh, uh <laughs> if you're criticizing me that i am eating a dead a dead <laughs> a dead carcass or something the same with the kisela kupas it's stinky as hell i mean it's very stinky so it's a it's a delicacy in every country so you know so you have that uh, sour cabbage and then we have this uh, dried fish uh, luckily for you your dried meat here is not that stinky it's um it's fine it's tasty it's salty and it doesn't have that strong smell compared to the fish that we have but you know this one uh it's very common in our supermarket you know when you're out of budget and you just have rice and then this is the easy to go partner with rice for me so you can find it anywhere in the market in Asia, not only in the Philippines, in Asia. We have all of this because, you know, we are surrounded by sea waters and fish is abundant. So this is one way of preserving our fish so to go through our life, you know. So for us, rich and poor, we eat this stinky fish. <laughs> same as yours. Eat and Rich and poor here in Bosnia, you eat kisala coco. So it's the same. It's... Uh, it's a acquired taste it's a delicacy so <laughs> you can never criticize me for eating this because i would never criticize you eating the sarma or eating the kisela kupus it's the same thing i tell you that but you know husband don't really want to try it i mean he's not avoiding me to cook this inside but you know out of respect to him uh, i cook this outside today because the smell really would stay like for a while if you cook it at, uh, inside the house especially during a uh, winter time when you cannot open the window so the smell of the fish you know it's so strong so it stays it sticks to every wall and everything but my goodness it's really tasty we love it so we'll see if husband would you know what he can say about this stinky fish of mine so anyway, they are here. I have prepared them a uh, gra. Stella loves gra. Dada loves gra. So, so this one can be eaten with everything, and I can only eat. The, I can even only eat this with rice only. Tuito, I love it with rice. Now, Dada has to sit down, and he doesn't need to eat. Of course, he just need to tell me his honest opinion regarding this stinky fish. It's stinky. It's not stinky. Would you eat this? No. <laughs> it really is that stinky. Stella Nemo. Grap. Ma grap. Grap Irving. It's really stinky. I want to have a big plate. Stinky. I cook it outside, by the way. Stinky, smell it. It's not stinky. See, it's not stinky. You try it. I want to eat it. Very she. Why you don't like it? Nah, huh? very she. I like the fish in yours. Uh huh. Very she. It's not stinky, right? Ah, see, Stella, it's okay with it. You want to try? Yeah, I should try. No. No? That's I eat fish that's still from a long time. Ah. Uh -huh. Gra. No, not, not the miso. I'll just take the miso out. Fish. Mm-hmm. I will try fish. Such a car. I'm gonna let them see how it does it looks. Are you peeing it off? Mm-hmm. So that you can try it. 
Why? So if you want to try it. Okay, then let's give me one. Let's give me one. Let's give me one. There you go. Talk one. Nothing. Hmm? No, nothing. Just try the one try.